today we are at Caesar Motors Garage, which partners with Innovation Consortium to bring you the How To Series, the automotive version. Hello, listeners and viewers. We'd like to thank you and welcome you to this episode where we are talking about tires. There are very many kinds of tires out there. And today I'd like to take you through what kind of tire to buy for your particular vehicle. Before us, we have uh, an example of a tire. And I'd like to take you through what the, the numbers mean on these tires. So next time if you're buying a tire, you know what to look for and where to put emphasis. In this example of the tire that we have, it says 22555ZR17. Now the first digits, the first three numbers on this tire, they describe the width of the tire. That, that means 225 is the... the, the the, the, the width from here to here, this section. Then the second number, 55, is the aspect ratio of the tire compared to the width. Then ZR. ZR refers to the construction type of the tire. You see, there are very many ways of constructing a tire. So this is what they call a radio tire. The R signifies a radio tire. Radio tires, these are the tires where um, this, this is still belted and the, 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 still, the, the beltings are at 90 degrees. That's why it's called a radio tire. So it's better like this and like this. So the, the steel through here and here is at 90 degrees. That's why it's called a radio tire. That's the kind of um, construction type of a tire. There are several types of construction uh, construction methods. There is the, the bias type, there is the, the, the ply, and there is the cross. But the cross describes how the, it just me, 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 me describes how, they, how they, 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 the belts have been woven before they put on the rubber. Are we together? Then 17 describes the diameter of the tire. The third number describes the diameter of the tire. Then we have these other numbers. In this state it says zero, 101. 101. This number describes the maximum amount of weight or load that this tire can take when it is properly inflated and when it is properly installed. 101, this tire can take maximum 750 kilograms. Then we have W. There is another figure that comes after, another letter, W. Then W is the, it, it is the amount of speed, that is the maximum speed this tire can, can be driven when it is properly mounted and properly inflated. Now in this case, W means this, car, this tire can be driven at speeds of what, 270, this tire. Now you find some other tires whereby here it says H, it says T, it says you now with with this with the with the change here also the the speed changes because this describes this the, the maximum speed that the tire can be driven at so it, the tire can go maximum if this was an h it would mean this tire can be driven maximum 200, 210 kilometers if it says here z like for example this is if it says zr it is the, the last part here, they are letters, they are like alphabetical letters. But they are also internationally known that each one, that every maker of a tire, there are specifications that they are given. That if your tire does a particular kind of speed, you're supposed to show the customer which, at what speed he must go and not beyond that if he has that tire. Now, for example, the owner of this tire, he can drive to speeds of 270 and above. So if you're buying a tire and you're a fast driver, be sure that you buy the tire that suits your needs. Then, tires also do expire, by the way. Like all things, they are produced and they do expire. The lifespan of a tire is four years after production, regardless of whether it is mounted or not mounted. Now, manufacturers are being forced to put the, 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 date of, of, the date of manufacture of the tire 
So when you're buying, you can calculate and know when the tire will expire. Um, these, these four numbers here, these four digits, they tell us that this tire was produced in the 36th week in 2022. Which means in the 36th week of 2026, it's expired. After four years, it's expired. Lately, manufacturers, uh, manufacturers of tires, they also show, they, they also tell us how to mount a tire. Now, on this tire, there's explicitly written that outside. It means that this part of the tire has to be mounted on the outer part of the rim, which means towards outside of the vehicle. When, you, when I turn this tire, you will see it says inside. It means this walling has to be on the inside of the rim, not on the outside, when you're mounting the tire. Then again, I'd like to point out the, another marking on the tires. Here it says tread wear, 320. It says traction, A, and temperature, A. Tread wear tells us the rate of wear of the vehicle. The higher this number, it means it, it doesn't wear quickly if the number is high. For example, if the tread wear is 400, it means the tire takes longer to wear out. But if this tread wear is lower, it means the, the tire wears away quickly. Traction, here it is A. It tells us um, the braking ability of the vehicle. That is by weight conditions. That's of this tire by wet conditions. If it says it means that it's, it's, its performance on wet surfaces when braking is good. Then temperature, here it says temperature A. Now temperature tells us its performance in hot conditions. There are different designs of tires. The example we have here is a, a highway summer tire. The summer tires are usually constructed in a way that they have an even flow in between them. This is so that, but, that at high speeds, when this is doing high speeds, there is cooling between the what? There is cooling of the rubber through these, I will not call them vents, but through these trails. Now, there are different kinds of tires out there. They are, they are mud grip tires. Right now, I don't have one example, but I'll I'll select one and show you. The, the, the way they are constructed is different because they are built to withstand mud. This one is built for speed. So we are going to show you other various kinds of tires so you can un easily understand what I was trying to tell you. This is a Savaro tire and it says 265-70-R16-112-T. Now, 265 is the width of the tire, 70 is the aspect ratio of the height, uh, of the aspect ratio of the tire, then R is also another radio tire, because it is the most um, common these days, radio tire, 16 is the rim or the diameter of the tire. Now, I, I pointed out to you earlier before, that you find here that the letter is changing. Now, the other tire we had before was a W, now this one is a T. Now on the international scene, they they have T. This this tire can go maximum 240 kilometers per hour. Maximum 240 kilometers per hour. Now the other numbers I was trying to describe to you here. These four digits. This one says 1522. It was this tire was manufactured in the 15th week of 2022. Which means four, four years after this manufacturing date, it will have expired. Okay, now I want to point out some differences between this tire and the other tire. I told you before that um, the tree wear, the higher this number, it means the tire wears away less. When this number is low, it means it wears away quicker. The other tire had um, 320, this one has 460. It means this tire the rate of, of the, 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 the wear loss is better compared to the, the tire before. Both these tires have temperature traction A. 
it means they are better performers in hot in wet weather conditions when breaking now this one has temperature b it means the, the other tire we showed be, before um it is it, it is it is better performance in hot weather this one is 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 good it's not a bad tire but the other is a better performer in hot weather conditions this one is what they call an all terrain tire this can be driven on the highway can be driven in uh, in maram can be driven in mud um, and in various conditions first first of all because of its rate of wear it is so high its, it's rate of wear is it, it, it's, its wear rate is so high and those are the the way it is built, the blocks, you see, the, the, the running, the, the other tire didn't have these, these, these spacings weren't there. It is meant for, this one is, now, you see, this, this running thread between this here, is, it's good, good for cooling, but this is good for mud. Mud and like on, on stony, on, on rocky ground. Yes. Caesar Motors Garage is located in Tinder, off of Magambo Road, in in Nakawa Kampala Division. At Caesar Motors Garage, we provide services for all motor vehicles. We do vehicle diagnostics, that is both physical and electronic diagnostics. We do key programming, we do panel beating and spraying, and we also do vehicle repairs and maintenance. We have a state-of-the-art spray booth where we conduct uh, computerized color mixing. We also have state-of-the-art security system that is installed so your cars are safe. For more information you can reach us at the following numbers that are highlighted below. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much.